Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're going to be solving this interesting calculus question from 2024 Korean SAT math. Okay, based on the description of the question, you have your f of x to be continuous on all real numbers, and f of x is greater than or equal to 0. If your x is a negative number, then your f of x is negative for x times e to the power of 4x squared. And then for all positive t value, there are two distinct real roots of f of x is equal to t. We call g of t as the smaller root and h of t as the greater root. Okay, then we have a condition between these two, g of t and h of t. 2 times g of t plus h of t is equal to k for all positive value of the t. And then k is the constant. If integral from 0 to 7, f of x dx is e to the power of 4 minus 1. What's the value of f of 9 over f of 8? First of all, we can think about the graph of this part. When your x is less than 0, your f of x is negative for x times e to the power of 4x squared. Okay, that is a decreasing function. So if you get your derivative of this f of x for this part, your f prime x, f prime x is equal to, now we can use product rule. So negative now, negative 4 times e to the power of 4x squared. And then we have now minus, and then we have 32, 32 times e to x, and then times e to the power of 4x squared. Okay, this is your first derivative of the f of x. And then if you pull this negative 4 e to the power of 4x squared out, then we should have a parenthesis, then we have 1, and then we have plus now 8x. Okay e to the power of 4x squared, positive function. 1 plus 8x, positive function. Then we have negative 4. So that's why this is now negative. That means this f of x, when your x is less than 0, this is a decreasing function. So we can actually start drawing your graph. Okay, x-axis and y-axis. Okay, when x is less than 0, then it has to be a decreasing function. And pretty much we know that your left side of the limit of f of x is now 0. So this says, based on this description, we have limit x is going to 0. Left side of limit of f of x, okay, that is equal to now 0. Okay, this is an easy part. Then the problem is, what will happen when your x is greater than 0? First of all, we have now this condition. For all positive t value, we will have two distinct real roots. One of them is g of t, and the other one is h of t. So that's why we can now think about your f of x is equal to t, which has to be horizontal line. Pretty sure this point is now your g of t, smaller roots. Then at the same time, your f of x is greater than or equal to 0. So that's why it has to be above your x-axis. So even without considering this part first, we can think about, okay, when your x is greater than 0, then your graph might be symmetric around this, around the y-axis. But it will not happen because if you have it, right? If you have symmetric around the y-axis, that means your f of x has to be simply 4x now, e to the power of just a 4x squared. But then again, in this case, this condition should not be making sense, right? 2 times g of t plus h of t is equal to k. Okay, we have 2 times g of t. 2 times smaller root plus just the greater root is equal to some constant. That means, at least for the shape of the graph when your x is greater than 0, it has to be flatter than this, right? It has to be flatter than this, about how much it should be 2 times flatter than this. So we can just plug it in 1 over 2 to the x to this in order for you to get 2 times flatter than this. So if you plug it in 1 over 2 to the x, it's pretty simple. Then we will have now 4 times 1 over 2x times e to the power of 4 times 1 over 2x now squared. Calculating this, then we should have now 2x. And then e to the power of now 4 times 1 over 4x squared. Cancel out, you only have then x squared. So that's why now this graph is now 2x, now e to the power of just x squared. But making sure 2 times g of t plus h of t is equal to some constant k. So this will tell you your h of t is equal to k minus 2 times g of now t. So that's why this means that we need to transform this graph. 
we need to transform this graph horizontally to the right by k. So we need to transform this part of the graph to the right by k in order for us to have the right form of the graph when your x is greater than 0. So it should be k and like this. So that distance has to be now the k, and then this distance is the same thing as just a k, right? Okay, that's why we can now specify then what has to be this function for this part. It is only going to be for you to subtract k from the x on this. So that's why for this, now the graph is equal to 2 times x minus k. Because it is about horizontal shifting to the right by k. You need to subtract k from the x. And then we have now times e to the power of x minus k squared. Okay, this is the right function when your x is greater than 0. Okay, now let's talk about the integral. So question said, integral from 0 to 7, f of x dx is equal to e to the power of 4 minus 1. Okay, from 0 to 7. So that's why now, integral from 0 to 7, f of x dx. This is the same thing as now from k, right, because of horizontal shifting. So it is the same thing as now k to now um, 7. k to now 7, f of x dx. We already found your f of x when your x is greater than 0, which is 2 times x minus k times e to the power of x minus k squared. Same thing, so this is the same as now from k to 7, and then we have 2 times x minus k times e to the power of x minus k now squared. Okay, and we have dx. Okay, so based on this, we can use the u substitution, right? So I'll be using the u substitution and calling this u as um, x minus k square. Okay, then your du is equal to 2 times x minus k, now times just the 1, which is just the 2 times x minus k. And then we have dx. So that's why your dx is equal to du over now 2 parenthesis x minus k. Okay, let's rewrite this. Let's rewrite this integral. Okay, then your lower bound is when x is equal to now k. So plug it in k, then u is equal to 0. And then when your x is equal to 7, then your u is 7 minus k squared. So your u lower bound than the upper bound, right? And then we have 2 times x minus k, and then e to the power of just the u, your d of x was du over 2 times x minus k. So du over 2 parentheses x minus k. Okay. So that's why we can completely cancel these part. Then your integral looks like integral from 0 to 7 minus k squared. And then we have only e to the power of u and du. Okay, so that's why this is the same thing as now, e to the power of u from 0 to 7 minus k squared. Okay, so that's why if you calculate this, then it has to be e to the power of 7 minus k squared minus e to the power of 0, that is equal to 1. This was given to be equal to e to the power of 4 minus 1. Okay, so that's why your 7 minus... 7 minus k, this tells you your 7 minus k squared is now equal to 4. Okay, so that's why your k is equal to positive 5. Okay, so your k is equal to positive 5. Using this, we can get the value of what the question is asking for, f of 9 over f of 8. Okay, since we already found out about the value of the k, that is equal to 5, right? Let's complete this f of x when your x is greater than 0. So your f of x that we have is now 2 times x minus 5, okay, times e to the power of x minus 5, now square. Question is asking you f of 9 over f of 8. First of all, let's talk about f of 9. f of 9 is now equal to 2 times now 9 minus 5, that is equal to 4. And then times e to the power of now 9 minus 5, 4 square. Okay, then f of now 8, this is equal to 2 times 8 minus 5, that is equal to 3, times e to the power of 3 squared. That's why now f of 9 is equal to 8, e to the power of 16, and f of 8 is equal to 6, 
times e to the power of 9. We need to divide these two. So the answer for this question is now 8 times e to the power of 16 over now 6 times e to the power of 9. Cancel these out, then we have 4 over 3. So 4 over 3 times e to the power of 16 minus 9, that is 7. So the answer for this question is 4 over 3 times e to the power of 7. That is the answer for this question. Okay, pretty interesting calculus question from 2024 Korean SAT math. So I'll be back with more videos, more questions like this sometime soon.